Good day everyone, this is Anila Teresa. In this presentation, I will be discussing Performance Studies and Introduction, which is a book written by Richard Schechner. This is Richard Schechner. He is a university professor in Performance Studies Department of New York University, NYU. He is the editor of TDR, the Drama Review, which is an academic journal focusing on performances. He is a director, writer, lecturer and leads workshops, especially on drama and performances. He is a traveller and has travelled and worked in many parts of the world. What is Performance Studies is the title of the first chapter in this book Performance Studies and Introduction by Shekna. Shekna opens the chapter by saying that the one overriding and underlying assumption of Performance Studies is that the field is open. That means Performance Studies as a discipline is a wide open field. There is no finality to performance studies either theoretically or operationally. It is an infinite field of study. The reason behind that is anything and everything can be studied as performance. Anything that happens around us, anything that happens under the sun can be studied as performance. Performance studies is so broad ranging and open to new possibilities. No one can actually grasp its totality or press all its vastness and variety into a single book. That means performance studies as a discipline is a very broad spectrum of uh, study and also it is very vast in nature and varied in nature because everything and anything can be studied as performance. What makes performance study so special is the first subtopic after introduction. Shekna opens this subtopic by saying performances are actions. Performance studies considers action in four aspects or perspectives or ways. The first aspect is the behavioral aspect where the object of study is the behavior. Here Shekna is using a term called repertory which means what people actually do while they are doing an activity. The behavior of a person while performing something that is what is meant by repertory. Second is the artistic aspect of performance studies. Artistic practice is a big part of performance studies project. In this aspect, the performance studies scholar or the performance studies critic, he or she approaches the artistic forms of performances or the art performances like music, dance, uh, a novel, any work of art. The third aspect or the third perspective or the third way of approach in performance studies is participant observation which is a much prized way of approaching taken from anthropological studies. In this approach, the performance study scholar becomes a part of the performance he or she is studying about. So being a participant or a part of the performance, they can make genuine study and criticism about that particular performance from a Brechtian distance. That is, in other words, through defamiliarization, the performance study scholar makes critical commentary over the performance he or she is participating and studying. That allows for criticism, irony and personal commentary as well as sympathetic participation. In Schechner's words, he calls it as a rehearsal process or a reflection process. The fourth aspect of performance studies calls for the requirement of involvement in social practices and advocacies. In Schechner's opinion, there should not be an ideological neutrality for the performance study scholar or the performer. The performance study scholar or the performer should firmly believe in one ideology or the other and there should not be a neutrality, a state of neutrality as far as the ideologies are concerned. Performance must be construed as a broad spectrum or continuum of human actions ranging from ritual, play, sports, popular entertainments, the performing arts that is theatre, dance, music and everyday life performances to the enactment of social, professional, gender, race and class roles and on to healing from shamanism to surgery, the media and the internet. So any human action or any everyday life performances comes under the broad spectrum or continuum of performance. There is no historically or culturally fixable limit to what is or is not performance. The underlying notion is that any action that is framed, enacted, presented, highlighted or displayed is a performance. Here, Schechner is giving an example of an American football player spiking the ball and pointing a finger in the air after scoring a touchdown. 
he is performing two actions one is spiking the ball and the other is pointing a finger in the air after scoring so here he is enacting two actions one is a professional action and the other is an entertaining action so one ritual as a part of his professional role as athlete and the other as a popular entertainer performance studies draws on and synthesizes approaches from a wide variety of disciplines including performing arts social sciences feminist studies gender studies history psychoanalysis queer theory semiotics ethology cybernetics media and popular culture theory and cultural studies performance studies is more than the sum of all its inclusions a performance study scholar examines texts architecture visual arts or any other item or artifact of art or culture not in themselves but as performances whatever is being studied is regarded as practices events or behaviors not as objects or things so in performance studies everything is regarded even a novel even a painting anything which is studied in performance studies is regarded as practices events or behaviors or in other words we could say performances thus performance studies does not read an action or ask what text is being enacted rather one inquires about its behavior Performance studies draws on and synthesizes approaches from a wide variety of disciplines including performing arts, social sciences, feminist studies, gender studies, history, psychoanalysis, queer theory, semiotics, ethology, cybernetics, media and popular culture theory and cultural studies. the performance study scholar examines the circumstances in which the painting was created and exhibited she or he looks at how the gallery or building displaying the painting shapes its reception for example take the painting of mona lisa how it was received in 18th century or 19th century is very different from how it is received in 20th 28th century or the 21st century that is what is studied by the performance study scholar now schechner is again reinforcing the behavioral approach in performance studies which is always associated with culture and in behavioral approach two things are recognized first in today's world cultures are always interacting there are no totally isolated groups second is that the differences among cultures are so profound that no theory of performance is universal no one in performance studies is able to profess the whole field why because the field of performance studies is very broad and vast this is because performance studies has a huge appetite for encountering it incorporates so many realms and fields into its discipline and new ways of analyzing performances while insisting that cultural knowledge can never be complete projects within performance studies often act on or act against settled hierarchies of ideas organizations and people so we could say that performance studies is a discipline which never settles